I'm gonna talk about the massive undersupply that's currently in the residential property market and what it's going to mean moving forward into the future. My name's Adam Panisi. I do these videos to help you get into your own property deals. And I started with zero over a decade ago, bought my first ever property and fast forward just over a decade, I've got a couple of hundred million dollars of projects in the pipeline that I'm actively developing around South East Queensland. So the undersupply in the market is pretty critical at the moment, uh, at least for many areas, especially in South East Queensland, but also other areas within Australia. Detached dwellings, everyone or a lot of people move from you know the small apartment living to a detached dwelling on the outskirts or just wanted to get out of that inner city high density living. Now what's that, what that has meant is that there's pressure put on detached dwellings. Uh, we've already seen, or we've all, we were already in undersupply for a lot of major capital cities with detached dwellings anyway. Um, but now, obviously, COVID has happened. Fast forward a couple of years, we're still seeing massive rental increases uh, throughout the country, and especially those areas where there's huge undersupply because of the construction sector at the moment and because of the supply shortages, both with labor and also material supply, because unfortunately we rely on too much of the rest of the world and the shipping lines, uh, that, that's been affected. And if you wanna build a house even now currently, uh, you're gonna be waiting at least six or seven months just to start the build, let alone complete it. So for those people building a house, uh, for those housing construction projects, you know, they're delayed or they've been pushed out till mid 2023. I did expect that the lines of transport were going to be a little bit more freed up by the end of 2022, but that's not looking likely at least for another 12 months. So it's actually take, going to take longer. And hopefully those transport lines around the world will free up mid 2023, because if they don't, we are going to be in for a massive property boom even sooner than what I think. Uh, so if there's an undersupply now, it's only going to get worse, both with the rental market and then also the purchase market. The only reason we've seen flattening of values recently just across the board is because you've got unaffordability, so people can simply not afford to buy the properties because they've gone up by so much. Uh, so you've got that aspect to consider that we've kind of hit a ceiling in various different areas. Not all areas have hit that unaffordability ceiling because it's all relative to the demographic in each area. So each area is gonna be different. A million dollar house in Brisbane might be unaffordable versus a two or three million dollar house in Sydney. So it's all relative to the area. Uh, so keep that in mind just because it, you might think two or three million might be a lot of money. There's plenty of people that can afford a two or three million dollar property. You've just gotta be in that area where people are, are actually able to afford it. Uh, so hopefully that made sense to you that affordability is all relative. So we have hit an affordability ceiling for a lot of places. There is an oversupply of units in particular cities, Sydney, Melbourne. Uh, so don't go and buy a unit in those areas where it's an oversupply. Uh, but the supply chain issues are still gonna be an issue for another 12 months at least, hopefully no longer, which means that we're gonna be in undersupply across the country and especially in some areas for at least the next 12 months, probably more like 18 months, just because of the starting constructions. Uh, just on top of that, building approvals are down. So we've got the lowest building approvals we've had for quite some time, which means that once all the supply gets taken up from all the stock that's vacant at the moment, there's nothing in the pipeline then to be put or to come online. So again, each area is going to be different, but this is just across the board. So look out for areas where there's going to be massive undersupply and not just at the moment, but have a look into the future, 12 months or two years, what's actually starting to be constructed. So for a high rise development, uh, construction takes you know something like two plus years generally. So if somebody's building you know, 500 units or 1,000 units in an area, that supply is not gonna come online for a couple of years later. So if you've got a supply crisis now, imagine how bad it's going to be in a couple of years, especially in that like high rise, that unit market. Uh, but low density housing, a bit quicker to build. Uh, so it's gonna come online a little bit quicker. 
Um, but generally speaking, uh, low density housing, they don't build you know, a thousand in one go. And we've also got labor supply shortages, we've got material supply shortages, and that's not improving anytime soon. So that might free up mid next year. So then you've got a lag for the supply to come online. Uh, so be prepared for a little bit of a bumpy road the next uh, couple of years with supply issues but then that's going to put massive pressure on rents and also on prices. So that's going to push the property market up in its fundamental state that where buyer demand outstrips supply substantially. And as long as that affordability remains, then that price of the property and that area is going to substantially increase in value. So get set for property boom number two and that coupled with Labor government spending will only assist in pushing those prices up even more. And I have done a separate video on what I believe the Labor government will do to property prices and why that is. So watch that video as well, put a link to it on this video. Uh, that'll help you understand uh, what we're in for. Thanks guys, if you liked the video, please let me know any questions. Would love to hear from you as well. Uh, would love to see you subscribe and watch some more videos uh, where I give you tips and tricks and what's happening in the market. Thanks guys, have a good one.